Last of the Irish beers I'm reviewing for St. Patrick's Day 2008, Hop Lager. Strangely enough, I've never come across this one before. I've uh, seen it advertised millions of times probably, and uh, for whatever reason, never ever tried it. Don't know why. It pours a kind of um, golden yellow colour with a fluffy head, which has shown no signs of quitting. Which is interesting because uh, quite often commercial lagers are very uh, lacking in head, lacking in, in body. So I'll be interested to see how this tastes. It smells very uh, what you expect from a, a big, big name lager. It's uh, kind of borderline chemical and summery, wheaty kind of smells. No surprises really. Well, first thing I noticed about harp is that it's, it's not as gassy as I was expecting. In fact, that creaminess I talked about is it's kind of evident here. It's nowhere near as fizzy and harsh as you might expect from a big lager. There's a roundness to the taste. It's kind of subtle. It's more of a, a very... Um, There's a very strong tendency here for the wheatiness of the, um, what I like to think of as the kind of male characteristics of a beer rather than the feminine characteristics of a beer. Kind of macho-ness, kind of like I'm a, I'm a beer and it's going to taste like beer. Hoppiness is, is there. It's kind of, the bitterness is kind of tempered there by that softness I talked about. There's none of the floral notes you often get with, with nice lagers. I find it a very harsh. And if it weren't for the, uh, the soft rounded edges, it would, be, it would be quite a difficult beer to drink at all. Harp isn't going to become one of my favourites. I don't mind it, but I don't love it. And I, I just think that there's better lagers out there. Even among the big names, I think Stella Artois is a much better lager from a bottle anyway. Um, I will try Harp again when it's on draft. Um, but I did bump into the four pack of Irish beers at the IGA and decided to buy it even though I knew canned beer is not always great. Um, Harp's probably my least favourite of the four. Guinness by far and away my favourite.